Welcome to the Harvey Ball 2020. In 2001, Worcester Historical Museum created the Harvey Ball Smile Award on behalf of the entire city of Worcester to annually recognize an individual, group, or organization whose commitment to community has made all of Worcester smile. In addition, the Harvey Ball celebrates the world-famous smiley face, created right here in Worcester by the late Harvey Ball. The international icon of happiness and goodwill, smiley face is a true Worcester original, Worcester's gift to the world. On behalf of Worcester Historical Museum's board, staff, members, and many friends, welcome to the October 2nd celebration of 20 at 20 in 2020, the 20th anniversary of the Harvey Ball. Smile world, it's World Smile Day. Welcome to the Harvey Ball presented by Worcester Historical Museum. Tonight we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the ball and we recognize 20 recipients and they all make Worcester smile. That's 20 at 20 in 2020. Worcester, Massachusetts is the birthplace of the smiley face, the interstellar icon of happiness and goodwill. On this day for the past 20 years, we smile with gratitude for Worcester Historical Museum where all things smiley face are exhibited and shared with the world. We honor Harvey Ball, who created the smiley face in 1963, and we recognize individuals and groups in our community who make us smile. This year's honorees include City Manager Edward Augustus, Mayor Joseph Petty, and Medical Director Michael Hirsch, State Senator Harriet Chandler, Melanie Bonsu, Ricky Duran, Martha Grace, Judy Kirk, Sacha Mitra, Ivy Nguyen, Allison Porter, Pow Wow Worcester, St. John's Food Pantry, Stad on the Street, Imrana Sufi, Nelly Tony, Dolly Vasquez, Paul Demoga and Edward Madaus, D. Wells, Jim Walu. Harry Kokinas and Kathy Sandikos, and the Worcester Women's Oral History Project. Now that you've seen faces, let's give a listen to what makes our honorees smile about Worcester. makes me smile about Worcester. It's a place where people feel at home very quickly because people in Worcester work together, they care about each other. Uh, whether you are cis or whether you are uh, LGBTQ, it doesn't matter. What does matter is we want to make this the best city we can and we work together so very well. And it's the people of Worcester that make this the heart of the Commonwealth. Everyone comes together. We're seeing that right now with uh, COVID-19. I can't believe how everyone has pitched in to make this community fight the virus and take care of the people that have been affected the most by it. What really makes me smile about Worcester is that when the word got out that I needed hats during our press conference, that the city responded and I got over 60 hats over an 18 week period to cover my bald head so I could continue to work with these wonderful gentlemen, the uh, city manager and the mayor to try to provide some truth about uh, how we were responding and how we were succeeding in the response to COVID-19.
about Worcester is the welcoming feeling and sense of community that groups like Pow Wow Worcester bring to Worcester, um, even if you're not born and raised here. What makes me smile about Worcester? The most amazing people I've ever met around the world, right here. What makes us five at Worcester, besides my family whom I love, is the people. I've met some great people and continue to meet inspiring people on a daily basis. I think that one of the major things is the people in the community here. We're able to work across sectors. We're able to trust each other to do things that we can't necessarily do as people in other communities where I've talked to different colleagues of mine. What makes me smile is the wonderful schools where my children were educated and they're now successful young adults. I, along with my family, smile here in the city of Worcester because this city is so friendly. It welcomes everyone with its open arms and warm feelings. And that's what this city is about. This is our home. We love it. As a lifelong uh, resident of Worcester, uh, growing up on Lincoln Street, living there for, for many years in my childhood. I just loved the hustle and bustle of the downtown. I've come to uh, know and love the city and uh, all the people who are in it and contribute to its vibrancy. And that's what makes me smile. The biggest reason for me to smile when I think about Worcester is that it takes its history seriously. Worcester makes me smile when I think about all of the college students and their professors who conducted almost 500 oral histories for the Worcester Women's Oral History Project. We couldn't have done it without them. The first National Women's Rights Convention was held in the city in 1850, and there have been many women with a Worcester connection that made a valuable contribution not only to Worcester, but to the nation and we still feel the positive effects of it today. These are not the rich and famous. These are the extraordinary, ordinary women of Worcester, and their stories will not be lost. Worcester knows that as a community, we have to preserve our past so that we can better shape our future. What makes me smile about Worcester is its cultural diversity and independent spirit. What makes me smile about Worcester are all of the people who are making, working to make Worcester a better place, working to make Worcester a much more diverse place, a more equal place for everybody to be in, and just, it's, it's working really hard right now and I'm really proud of my city. What makes me smile about the city of Worcester is the opportunities we have to mentor youth, including my own organization, the Girl Scouts of Central and Western Massachusetts, whom are building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. The thing that makes me smile the most wide, and sometimes wider and wider every time I think about it, is the diversity that I see in the city when it comes to our residents. Irrespective of your race, religion, culture, ethnicity, traditions, this city hall has opened the door for everyone to come in and enjoy this city. This is a city of love and joy. We have great people. We have a diverse group of people here that call this city, this great city, home. We've been, we've been supported. The LGBTQ community has been supported here. Uh, the Worcester Historical Museum has allowed us to speak our history um, and capture that forever. That organization has enabled many people, like me, to be able to talk about who they are, the struggles they went through, and the power of this community to embrace us. Worcester makes me smile. What makes me smile about Worcester is the third Monday in January, that's the Martin Luther King Breakfast, where we come together as a community, black, white, rich, poor, young and old, and we celebrate Dr. King. It's a little bit of Dr. King's dream. We come together, and at the end of the breakfast, we celebrate with singing, We Shall Overcome. That's 
that's a perfect day. That's a day to smile. What else makes me smile about Worcester is that it really is a big city with a small town feel. That feeling of being at home no matter where you are. I of course love the cultural and educational advantages of Worcester. It's great museums, it's universities, it's libraries. It's the three deckers, it's the diners, it's the neighborhoods, the neighbors, it's affordable, it's accessible. I also love its parks. We're so lucky to have so many wonderful parks throughout Worcester. I love Green Hill Park. I love the fact that, you know, anyone can go and feel welcome there. There's so much to do. What makes me smile is the outdoors, which I love. I'm happy that we have woods and hiking trails so close to us. One of the things that make me smile in Worcester is driving and walking by Kelly Square. A lot of people are afraid of Kelly Square, but I've never been afraid of Kelly Square. All my family in Delaware, that's all they can remember, Kelly Square. They navigated Kelly Square. There should be a bumper sticker. What makes me smile about Worcester? Well, there are just so many things. It's so difficult. But the one thing that stands out for me is walking into Coney Island and smelling those hot dogs in the air. Well, what makes me smile is going to Kelly Square and smelling the table talk pies. Wow. But also yeah. what makes me smile about Worcester it, are the customers and the people of Worcester. And um, my contact with people every day really is what makes me smile. You know what, that's what I love about Coney Island too, is just all the different people mm -hmm. that walk into Coney Island and buy your hot dogs. They're just from all different walks of life. It's just so Worcester. What makes me smile about Worcester? The food. Definitely food. I've been here my entire life, and in the past 10 years or so, I've seen an influx of different foods from all over the world and different types of restaurant owners and people just really opening up to trying new things, and that makes me smile. Another thing I love about Worcester is its diversity and the many restaurants we have with all kinds of international food. Once there were some people who were feeling kind of blue So they called up Harvey Ball, he knew exactly what to do He drew a smiley face, he made it yellow too It was sunny, it was simple, and he said, I'm through Now give a little giggle, grin a little grin Do your imitation of the smiley face pin Open up your heart to let the sun shine in And share it with your neighbors and your next door kid story is to help the world to smile you do an act of kindness you go the extra mile and what you do comes back to you in just a little while for goodness is contagious and it's never out of style so give a little giggle grin a little grin do your imitation of a smiley face pin open up your heart to let the sun shine in and share it with your neighbors and your next door kid give a little giggle
What makes me smile about the city of Worcester is really that we're going to succeed in the city because we built the foundation here and it's everybody, it's everybody. And uh, look at the arts community, that makes me smile. What makes me smile about Worcester is the diverse culture of artists and creators we have in our city. What makes me smile about Worcester? It's the home of artists and innovators. What makes me smile about Worcester is Worcester's collaborative spirit. There's always a person or a crazy group of people who are always willing to help support your crazy idea. What makes me smile about Worcester is an amazing diverse city with people from various walks of life. We, we make the heart beat. And within the heart is the word art. We're all storytellers. You, me, us. The thing that makes me smile most about Worcester is the fact that I see so many smiling faces at the Hanover Theater when I'm walking out after performances. It's really incredible. Perhaps what makes me smile the most about Worcester is the incredible music opportunities. Most people know about the concert venue at Mechanics Hall and the successful Hanover Theater. But fewer people know about the Worcester Chamber Music Society, who not only gives exquisite chamber music performances, but is also responsible for the development of neighborhood strings. Another thing that makes me smile about Worcester is going to art openings. Art makes me smile, and I'm always happy when I go to an opening. As the former director of the Worcester Art Museum, I can attest to the fact that so many people give back to this community and make it a wonderful city for us to enjoy. I love those things about Worcester. What makes me smile about Worcester is the commitment that our nonprofits bring to our community. What makes me smile about Worcester um, is the work we do at the St. John Soup Kitchen. So every day, people come in, and, and, and I've been running it for eight years, and I put a lot of smile on people's faces along with my volunteers. No man, woman, or child should ever go hungry in the city of Worcester as long as St. John's uh, Soup Kitchen is there. What really makes me smile is the sound of baseball in 2021. It's gonna make me smile. And also regarding, hey, can you wish for the future? City Council with Lauren Jitus. What makes me smile about Worcester is the never-ending chip on the city's shoulder that always makes it want to be the best Worcester it can be. Worcester is a place where there's still room to put down roots. What makes me smile is the number of times and ways I've been able to work with people toward a common goal. That and waving at Orson on 290. Worcester is the kind of city where you can live, learn, grow, raise a family, start a business, and that makes me smile. What makes me smile about Worcester is the optimism and the sense of pride that the city has. Uh, even despite the obstacles that 2020 has presented to our community, we haven't missed a beat. We've come together, we've helped each other out, and we know better days are ahead. And that sense of pride and optimism is really the fuel uh, that is making Worcester's renaissance a reality. And that makes me smile. Then share it with your neighbors and your next of kin. Share it with your neighbors and your next of kin. Give a little giggle, grin a little grin. Do your imitation of a smiley face pin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Then share it with your neighbors and your next of kin. Share it with your neighbors and your next of kin. 
We hope you've enjoyed the 20th anniversary Harvey Ball. This evening's honorees join 20 distinguished individuals and groups who have been honored in the past. Alan Fletcher, Dennis Leary, Leslie Courtney, John Spillane, Charles Monahan Jr., Richard Kennedy, Tim Murray, Jane Petrella, Mary DeFutis, The Crowley Family, Miles and Jean McDonough, Michael O'Brien, Mary and Warner Fletcher, Charles Ball, Canal District Alliance, Mark and Jan Fuller, Patty Eppinger, Cliff Rucker, Dale LePage. Thank you once again for celebrating Smiley Face, Harvey Ball, and our 20 at 20 in 2020. Since 1875, Worcester Historical Museum has been the keeper of the stories that make Worcester the exciting city it is today. Please join us in this adventure by following Worcester Historical Museum on Facebook and Instagram, or visit us at worcesterhistory.org. Your support ensures the future of the legacy of Harvey Ball and Smiley Face and all the shared stories that make us Worcester. smile about Worcester is the people and sometimes you want to be where everybody knows your name and in Worcester everybody knows your name we're a big city but we're like a small town and Worcester just makes me smile what makes me smile about Worcester Worcester is home we know one another we know our stories and together we will succeed Worcester is a place filled with regular folks doing extraordinary things and that's what makes me smile about Worcester. Then share, share with your neighbors. neighbors. <laughs> uh, yeah. Share with your neighbors. neighbors. And your next door. Don't kid. hesitate. Grin a little grin. grin. Grin a little grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. <laughs> Share it with your neighbors and your next of kin. Give, Give a, a little, little giggle. giggle. <laughs> a griggle. Do, do your imitation, imitation of a smiley face pen. Can't do this. Give a little ziggle. Ziggle or giggle? No. Open, Open up, up your heart, heart and let the sun shine in. Ying, 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 ying. <laughs> Let's a song ying. Let's a song <laughs> Let's a song I love that thing. Yeah. All oh, right, no. one more time. Do your imitation of the fox. Do your imitation of the smiley face pen. Do your imitation of the smiley face pen. Okay. I look demented, I feel like. Do, Do your, your best, best imitation, imitation of, of the, the smiley face pin. <laughs> what? We're horrible on that part. Yeah. Okay. Give a little griggle. Giggle. Is it griggle? No, it's not griggle at all. <laughs> Give a little giggle. Okay. And share it with your neighbors in your next of kin. Well, you really don't know. I suck. I'm horrible at singing. This would be great takes, though, you know? <laughs> Okay, let me be happy. <laughs> <laughs>